morning, my friends. As we've been doing for nine days now, just a brief reflection. These days have kind of bookended the anniversary of Road versus Wade and called us to a renewal of our efforts to protect and defend life in all stages. So our reflection for today, God has carefully, tenderly created every person in his own image and likeness to be in loving relationships with himself. From each tiny child knit within a mother's womb to every person approaching death, all are loved perfectly and completely by God. It is therefore a service of love with which we are all committed to ensure to our neighbor that his or her life may, must always be defended, promoted, especially when it's weak or threatened. In a world in which those who are most vulnerable are so often overlooked and disregarded, Christ calls us to embrace and uphold the unconditional dignity of every human being, every human life. In answering this call, we can build a new culture of life, the fruit of the culture of truth and love. May the Holy Spirit continually renew us to strive faithfully to defend God's gift of life. Thank you. behalf of our pastor, Father Edwards, myself, and welcome you to Holy Rosary Church, Mother Mary, Mother of God Parish. On this feast day of one of the greatest theologians uh, the church has seen in its history, 2,000 years of history, St. Thomas Aquinas. But let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind the fact that we are sinners and ask God for his most gracious and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, Grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and an absolute trust, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed pure in water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope. For he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this Lord, is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? or who may stand in his holy place. He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face.
The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing that's secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure you measure with will be measured back to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two brief little thoughts. First on the feast day of today, St. Thomas Aquinas. As I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, one of the greatest theologians we had, and his theology is still in vogue in many seminaries throughout the world. And uh, I studied under the Thomistic rule as a seminarian. I believe probably Father Edwards as well under the, the rule. He wrote many, 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 many dissertations, many articles, um, particularly on, on dogma and living out a Christian life. He also was very pious. He wrote the, uh, the hymns for uh, benediction, Tantum Ergro, and um, uh, he wrote the, uh, the other one, with, I can't remember right now, but uh, he wrote those in, in the Panja Lingua. Yes, Panja Lingua and Gloriosa and so on and so forth. But he's best known for his writing of the, uh, called the History of Theology, if you will. And it's called, you know, he called the, um, uh, it is a quite encompassing work. And um, he, uh, in that book, or in that work, I should say, which encompasses many, many different books, throughout his lifetime, it's, it's a huge lifetime effort. He has what we call the quinque via, the five ways that we can know God exists without a religious mind. Just from observation, human observation, we can know God exists. And he, of course, he does everything in Latin, which, you know, it's it's fine. Uh, But uh, we studied those things in Latin in the seminary as well as in English. But anyhow, uh, they are very impressive. And I'll just give you one or two. Uh, The first one would be uh, quid quid movetur abalio movetur. Whatever is moved is moved by another force. And what that's moved, that's moved by something else. That's moved by something else. You get to the point where it has to be a first mover. Someone who hasn't been moved themselves, who always existed and will always exist. Goes all the way down. Okay? The first mover. The prime mover. The other one, another one is uh, that we can uh, call to mind. Uh, and very useful to is um, causa, causa effecta. Whatever is caused by something here is caused by something else, and that's caused by something else. You have to go all the way back to the first cause that wasn't created or caused by any, anything else, and that is the first cause. We call that cause God. Always was, always will be is responsible for everything else that moves in, in, in creation, and so on and so forth. And we can go on and on in nature, and in the, the human being, and so on and so forth. You can just go on and on and on. But anyhow, it's sad that we don't take time to think about those things, you know? Uh, we, we, we try to, uh, uh, to preach the gospel from a a merely religious perspective. And that's wonderful and good in itself, and must be. But we forget the philosophical 
underpinnings that bring that gospel to light as the first cause, the first mover, you know, the, the creator of the created and so on and so forth. Um, and he is responsible for so much. Uh, he was very rotund, as we well know. And um, he's in good company with uh, many of his fellow saints of the 12th century. There were, uh, really, it was a, it, it was a burst of, uh, of intellectual um, uh, superiority in, uh, for the church in the 12th century. And himself, um, uh, less intellectual, but still as important, even maybe more important, St. Tom- Saint, um, uh, Francis of Assisi, St. Clair, St. Uh, Teresa of Avila, uh, St. Uh, Benedict. He was a Benedictine monk himself, joining the new order. Uh, and, so, and it goes on and on, Bonaventure, goes on and on and on. Wonderful burst of, of intellectual insight in the 12th century. Now, well, let's get to the gospel just for a brief moment. To the one who has, more will be given, and the one who has not, even that which he has will be taken away. Well, that phrase will not sit well with uh, a union labor party meeting. Uh, but Jesus is not talking about labor parties. He's not talking about, he's talking about if you have faith, if you, if you open yourself to my father bringing that faith alive in you, you have to cultivate that and make that faith grow grow and grow and grow, you know, like the prime mover, move, move it and move it and move it till it grows and grows so that you, to one day you can say like St. Paul, no longer I who live, it is Christ who lives in me. If you receive that faith, you know, primarily through our baptisms, and, and we don't nurture it, and we just kind of like let it dwindle away, and we forget that we're part of the church, and so what happens? Even the little we have, it's just going to fall away by the wayside, isn't it? So it's up to us. We want our faith to grow. We have to nurture it. If we want, uh, you know, if we if you don't, then you just, you know, forget about God and His church and everything like that, which unfortunately we see so many people doing. So today, then, let us proclaim the gospel with the richness of the theological history we have from the great scholars like Thomas Aquinas and so forth. And uh, let us uh, continue to make that faith well established in our hearts and in our, our, and in our lives. Amen. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord as we pray for one another's needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that each and every one of us who confess the holy name of Christ may be united in his truth and fervent in his love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all world leaders and for the newly elected leaders of our nation, May we work together, move toward harmony and peace in every part of our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Thomas McAndrew, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those for whom we've been asked to pray and ought to pray, and all those for whom nobody ever prays today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We turn to our Blessed Mother and ask her to bring these petitions to her Divine Son as we pray. Our Amen. Mary, full of grace, grace. the Lord is with thee. Thee. Blessed Blessed thee. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners. sinners.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer. The church has given and human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Well, my mind is not that of St. Thomas Aquinas. Now let us stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine today on this feast of St. Thomas will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand. Praise and glory to his name. For our good and good of all. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on this feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas, Doctor of the Church, then be pleasing to you, O God, for through, sought by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make the church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us the sure signs of true love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example gives us courage, and their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, O Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, and in exaltation we all acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, 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 full of your glory, Zion in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Zana, in the Glory indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
glory, of glory and, and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. But we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. Accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And so the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And share that peace with one another in the whole world. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let me say the word of my soul to so you. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Dr. Thomas Aquinas, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts that we have received. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The mighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us prepare ourselves now for the reception of Holy Communion. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 